Welcome to this quick video on reordering objects in Microsoft PowerPoint. So if you've got pictures, if you've got text, if you've got shapes on your PowerPoint slide like I have, and they kind of overlap a little bit, so they might be above or below each other, you can use some functions quickly in Microsoft PowerPoint to bring them forward or send them to the back. It's especially useful if you're trying to click on a box to make some changes like a text box or something and you just can't grab it because there's something in front of you stopping it. So this is a really nice bit of functionality. If you want to make any changes to pictures or images or anything like that, you want to click on them first. So I'm going to click on this image at the bottom, which is kind of hidden at the moment. It's very pretty, but I can't really see it. And when I click on that image, the picture format option will open in the ribbon. So I'm just going to click on that. And then I have a few options here. I can bring it forwards, send it backwards, use a selection play, pane or reorder objects. And they've all got drop downs on them as well. So if I click on the drop down on bring forward, you can see I can bring it forward one step or I can bring it to the front. And that's exactly the same as back. So if I bring forwards, it's come in front of one of the images, but it's still behind that other one on the right hand side because I only brought it forward one step. And obviously in my layers, in my order, that other picture is right at the top. Send backwards, I've got the same option to send it all the way to the back. Selection pane, if I click on it, you can see it gives me an option to see them on the right hand side. And this is really nice if you've got loads of images and boxes and things on there. You can use the eye to click on it and hide. So you know exactly which one you're looking at. And if you click on it as well, it will select that for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the bottom one and I'm just going to drag it and bring it up one. And you can see if I drag it and move it, then it's again come in front of that second picture, but it's not, it's still hidden behind that final picture. But the selection pane, which it might be a really nice option for you to work with. If you've got a load of text boxes, images, shapes, etc on your PowerPoint and you just want to make sure they're in the right order. The final option is reorder objects and if I click on it you'll see it looks a little bit funky here. So it's actually given me a bit of a dynamic view so I can go in there and I can find the one that I'm looking for and I can click and drag and move it and reorder it. Now it's slightly hidden off the screen but down in the bottom right hand corner You've got an OK and you've got a cancel. I'm just going to click on OK. And now I've brought it back. When I reordered those objects, I pulled that bottom one to the front. So now it is in front of all of those other images. So you can manually bring things backwards and forwards. You can use a selection pane, which is open right now on the right hand side. Or you can use a dynamic reorder objects to reorder it manually. Um, you might not want to use that if you've got too many things on the screen. But really useful if you can't click a hold of that object because you might have something in front of it. This is the way you're going to be able to figure that out. And just make sure your layers and your order of your content on your PowerPoint really works well for you. So please do have a go at that. Please do like and subscribe and let me know what videos you'd like to see me record next.